So the new Pika V2 just released and this is how to get it. The first island you should head to is Rose Kingdom. Each of the Poneglyphs gives a different quest and you don't have to follow the exact order. But the Rose Kingdom one is the easiest one. All you have to do for the Rose Kingdom quest is get to Colosseum of Arc within 40 seconds with your Pika Light Flight. That's the first Poneglyph complete. Now you want to head over to Thriller Bark. For this quest, you need to hold out a Pika fruit and sacrifice it. Now you're gonna wanna head to Desert Kingdom and interact with the Poneglyph there. The Poneglyph tells you to head to Marine Base G1, which is in verse C. And you have to kill Kizaru there, and I recommend a big party for it because Kizaru solo is kind of hard. Kizaru spawns every 30 minutes in real time. Now head back to second seed to the spirit island where you get Haki V2. It's south from the middle of Desert Kingdom. Now the Poneglyph tells you to kill Mihawk. Mihawk spawns at Umi Island every two hours in real time. For your final Poneglyph, head to Colosseum of Arc and talk to the Poneglyph there. It tells you to get 100 mastery which is basically 80,000 damage and the way I recommend you do this is kill Maria. After you do all of the Poneglyphs, it automatically puts Pika V2 in your hotbar and uh, it also resets your stat. And if you want to switch back to Pika V1 for some reason, you can talk to a Poneglyph and decide if you want to switch or not. One more thing before I go, I'm making my own crew named Doriaki Delinquents. I'll leave its Discord server in the description and next season, we're going to get the top 25 so we can have the prestige jar blade. And that's pretty much all. I wish y'all luck on getting Pika V2. See ya.